Welcome back guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to rotate a view on a sheet. So let's start by creating a new sheet. So in the project browser, you can right click sheet and then hit new sheet. And then I'm going to use the A1 standard title block that I loaded in earlier. So that creates a new sheet for us and it appears in our drawing list. The next thing we're going to do is duplicate the detailed plan view. So I'm also going to right click that, duplicate view, and then I'm going to use duplicate with detailing. So that creates a, another view. Let's right click and rename. And let's call this rotated at the end. So now we have the view rotated, we can close this out and the original view and the former sheet. And then we can drag that view onto our sheet here and place it in place. The easiest way to rotate a view on sheet is to select our view and then in the properties we can scroll down under the graphics, rotation on sheet and turn this 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if I select 90 degrees clockwise, that is how the view looks. If I then select 90 degrees counterclockwise, it flips the other way around and that is how the view looks. So one thing to note when a rotation on sheet is active is that none of the text rotates with the alignment of the view. So if you can see here that the property line text and the tags are upside down. If you want to rotate them, you have to double click in the view. You have to select one of the text notes and you untick this keep readable and then you can rotate that around and that switches sides. However, for your tags and for your grid lines, you cannot apply the same rotation. So let's go back and let's change the rotation on sheet back to none. And then we can reposition that onto our sheet. Currently our project isn't set up to use true north. So if I click on the viewport and scroll down in the properties panel, you can see that the orientation is set to true north. If I select that and change it to project north, it will be the same. So let's find out where this project's true north would be. So in Google Maps, let's go to where this project would be. So I'm going to type in the Gambia and press enter. That zooms into Gambia. For those who don't know, the Gambia is in West Africa. I'm going to switch the maps to use the satellite view. And then I'm going to zoom into where our site would be. So our site is this house here. So true north is approximately in this direction with the front entrance to the left hand side. So let's change our model to reflect that. So back in our model, I'm going to open the viewport and then I'm going to draw a indicative north arrow. So let's go to the annotate, use a masking region. And then I'm just going to draw a quick circle. Let's call it 1000 and finish the edit. Then I'm going to go back into annotate and draw a filled region. And then I'm going to draw a solid black region. And then I'm also going to draw a rectangle like so. And finally, let's draw some detail lines just to finish this up. One there and one there. So to rotate this to a true north, you go to the manage tab and then the project location panel. And then where it has the position button, you can drop that down and then you can select to rotate true north. Now, one thing to note is when I select this, because the view is on Project North, it's not going to allow me to do that. So if I select this, it comes up with a warning to say that your view must be oriented to True North first before you can make this modification. So let's close that up. And then all that means is that you need to switch to the True North in the orientation setting. So then you can go to the position drop down and then you can select rotate true north. The first thing I'm going to do is replace the center of the rotation. And what you need to do is rotate the project according to where true north is. So you start with where true north is, which is this direction here to the right. And then you rotate round to where the project has the true north. So let's approximate that to 90 degrees and then click. So that rotates the project to true north and the north arrow is correctly aligned. Let's right click, deactivate view and then replace this onto the center of the page. Now one thing to note about rotating the true north is that all of the tags rotate with the view. So this is different to the rotation on sheet function which keeps all of the rotations locked to the view. So to rotate the miscellaneous tags we can select one of the window tags we can right click we can go to select all instances visible in view and then we can press the space bar to rotate them 
The same for the door tags. We can select one of the door tags, right click, select all instances visible in view and then press the space bar to rotate them. Finally, we can do the same for the wall tags. Select one of them, right click, select all instances in view, visible in view and then spacebar to rotate them. So that's two ways to rotate a view on a sheet. You can either use the rotation on sheet or you can use the correct orientation and rotate the true north in comparison to project north. And that's the end of the video. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.